Hello my loves, welcome back to another video. I hope you're doing really well. Just arrived in Italy and I have no idea where we're going at this point. We have landed in Venice, but apparently we're not staying in Venice. But Mason's hired a car. It's really cool. Really cool. I wanted to drive this. It's an electric car, a bit called a Polster. I've never actually heard of them before, but they look like a little, looks like a transformer car. So we're just going to load our suitcases in and try to find out where we're going. Okay, absolutely no idea how to open that boot. have zero clue of where we're currently going but it says on the set now but where I put, I put, put somewhere close to where we're going not why are you not even put the actual location on the set nav i thought to myself it looks like a bistro where we're going but yeah it's 20 past nine and we are nearly here we actually thought we were going to go for half four but we stopped off then had a malfunction with the electric car because it wouldn't charge so we had to go to a different charge point and then we got stuck there was a really bad accident so we were stuck in traffic for like an hour and a half but it's fine because we're here now oh gosh it's like a princess car I thought I could pick up the camera today and film a weekly vlog. It's a Friday when I'm filming this and it is actually my 25th birthday today. I've not long been awake, I just got myself a little bit ready and then I've been put in the bathroom in this hotel we're in and told I can't come out so just got myself ready and then I thought I could start this vlog and stuff and of course I had to have a coffee but basically I've woken up in Italy and yesterday was hilarious so Mason and I we always do like surprises for each other's birthdays I feel like we've done this like the past maybe three years or something and it's just it's really nice yesterday Mason was like pack your suitcase he told me the other week he's like we're gonna go to Italy but just wouldn't tell me anything didn't tell me where and obviously there's so many places in Italy so I just had no idea pack my suitcase don't really know what I've packed for and then yeah we got on a flight from Manchester yesterday at like 7am to Venice so I was like oh must be Venice how gorgeous I've always wanted to go there and then he's like no no we're picking up hire car so we got in this electric hire car and drove two and a half hours to Lake Garda thought we were going to Lake Garda got a gelato that was the first thing I did I've heard so much about Italian ice cream and then we were walking around and I was like oh so is the hotel or where we're staying around here and he kept mentioning campsites so I was thinking are we camping but he was like no no got another drive and then it was another two hour drive and we have arrived in the Dolomites in Italy and I've only just seen out of this bathroom window today but it looks beautiful I think we're just in the mountains somewhere and it's just gorgeous so I can't wait for today and what a nice place like to spend my birthday we're in Italy for five days and then I thought I could just do my weekly vlog here and show you what we get up to God, we look like different people in these. Mm -hmm. oh, wow. I didn't know you could do these inside the car. Mm -hmm. Wow. Oh, it's pottery in the room. <laughs> Mason's wrapping little tags. You're a much better wrapper than me. Are you gonna save this? Save no. Oh my god, we've got a new matching set. I love this colour in the summer. We've got the matching green shorts. I was looking at this week, I was like, oh, I could do with some. I wanted some Nike shorts. Mm. Oh, it's really cool. Wow, oh, I love this. Thank you, Mace. Gonna have some chocolate before we go on a 10k run. That can be our pre workout fuel. I feel like a highlighter, actually got to have either cake or like something sweet on your birthday. All right, you want chocolate hazelnut. Mm -mm -mm. 
I'm gonna put my running shoes that I know that fit just because I don't wanna run in brand new trainers because I'll just end up killing my feet. It's about half eight, I'm gonna go on a run. I want to do a 10K run, I'm gonna do it quite quick because we don't wanna miss breakfast. So this should be a challenge, see what pace we can get. I've got a new running vest, which is the funniest thing. It has a whistle, like, just imagine me running past someone. <laughs> Rather than saying, excuse me. It's really sunny out, so. Ready to go. That was the sweatiest run and probably one of the most challenging 10Ks of this entire year without a doubt more so because my stomach decided that every kilometer i needed to go to the toilet so i feel like i've toured around the italian toilets at this point but we did that in one hour and two minutes we were going up some major hills just to add to that absolutely breath taking like the views because you go right up to viewing points and stuff you can just see right over all the valleys that was i think probably the most picturesque run i've ever done we just went for breakfast straight after the run and now i'm just gonna get showered and sort myself out I still need to look on the map properly, but we're in the Dolomites at a hotel called Villa Eden. It is absolutely gorgeous. We had a walk around the grounds after we had breakfast. It's super nice, very fancy, giving kind of like old money vibes. Everyone was really well dressed for breakfast and we went straight from that run, like dripping with sweat. So I felt like all eyes were on us because we were just, yeah, very sweaty, but I quickly cooled down to be fair and I just dabbed my face with a napkin, but I didn't want to miss out. I think we've got two like breakfasts here. I didn't want to miss out on the breakfast by showering first, but then I also didn't want to cut my run short. So that 10K was super challenging. Mason like led the route because he had looked on his phone like where to go. This is the wall in the house. I'd like to walk all the way up behind. Yeah, well that looks good. Yeah. We're just trying to project manage the house renovation from here as well, which is proving something. I did an Instagram post this week, which I had quite a lot of messages off the back of, which was basically, it's two pictures, one of what my body looked like when I was doing 17,000 steps a day, and then the other one, 9,000 steps. And basically I lost my Apple Watch when I went away recently, and then I kind of had a break from tracking my steps. Obviously you can use your phone to track your step count, but I just sort of hadn't, which also was really nice to have a rest because I've worn a fitness watch since 2020 pretty much and I think it's always important to have a rest from certain stuff but I was averaging a lot less steps than I usually do and that got me thinking about how we can always fixate on a certain number of steps so like the most common one is doing 10,000 steps a day which I absolutely love doing but it's so important not to fixate on that step count for a certain goal like fat loss because there's so many other variables that come into that so for example when I was doing 17,000 steps I actually gained weight and wasn't as lean and whatnot in comparison to when I do say 9,000 steps and that comes down to so many different things that obviously some days if that that might include a run or a workout on top of that so an increase in overall energy expenditure and basically our bodies are constantly trying to maintain an energy balance and they're so smart so you'll notice it on days where you've expended more energy your body's wanting to replenish those energy stores so you'll be hungrier and what was happening with me is on days when I was much more active I wasn't tracking my calories I actually ended up in a calorie surplus because I was so much hungrier like you know say if you haven't trained you will sometimes not be as hungry and you won't eat as much that day so you can actually like lose weight which is why I think it's important to look at your nutrition all the time and have some sort of accountability in that sense rather than just focusing on your exercise like back in the day I used to go all in on working out say twice a day and be doing these crazy intense sprinting on the treadmill but never sort of losing any weight or just staying the same and it was because I was just obviously increasing my energy expenditure eating those calories back and didn't have any accountability when it came to my nutrition. And if that's sounded like something you have struggled with, I would definitely look at what you're eating. You don't need to spend hours and hours walking each day. Like when I was doing 17,000 steps, that was taking me nearly two hours a day and I just didn't have time for myself. Whereas 9,000 is a much more realistic number. I still have to make a conscious effort. Like I don't think even getting 9,000 steps is easy by any means. Fit of the day. I actually brought my greens in this little bag. I always try and take this with me, especially on holiday, just because if you're eating different types of food and your digestion plays up, this is a godsend. 
that's really funny so we've come to this place called Terme Morano which is like a spa they've got thermal pools saunas just loads of like wellnessy stuff I think we've got like an indoor suite book to tell us something later on but um we've just come to the outdoor pool which is absolutely massive it is so busy we just saw this like one canopy bed type thing in the corner and we're like oh let's just park ourselves there so we got set up with the sun bed and then someone uh family just walked over and they're like oh we've booked this so we just relocated to the floor on the grass which is just as lovely if anything actually a lot comfier than the bed i've forgotten my kindle but nathan has got his kindle is reading transurfing and just taking in the view it's like the perfect temperature not too burning hot and there's a little bit of a breeze which is my favorite type of weather like that run this morning wasn't melting scorching hot like dubai heat it was just the perfect temp this is like my ideal climate like i kind of want to live in this climate i've been told off actually for having my camera out so we've got the funky angle i've not even drove these glasses actually suit me to be fair they're very thin. I do like an oval shape for that sungrass. So we've relocated to a suite here. I've never actually seen one of these before, but basically it's like this little room with a bathroom, shower and whatnot, and then a sauna in here, a hot tub and a water bed. So cool. So yeah, so there's loads going on in this place. You've got a room bath. So that was really nice out there, wasn't it? I felt like I kept getting told off by the guy for getting my camera out. But I wanted to show you because it was really cool with the like mountain drop and this area I think gets super snowy in the winter and then it's nice and warm in the summer there's some scrubs here and some snacks me and Mason don't really drink much at all I wish they had other selections of stuff rather than it always being wine or prosecco because it feels like a waste in one sense but there's a little fruit selection as well I'm quite hungry now I feel like I got a bit hot and bothered out there so I'm just going to chill here and then we're going for a soft pack which is 30 minutes and apparently that's like where they just rub loads of oil and nourishing stuff and it's like a warm bed of some sort. I think that's on a water bed. I've never had one of them in my life. Oh, I can sleep. Got a very nice fruit selection, some dragon fruit, some peaches. I have a thong bikini on actually today. I didn't realise it was it was like a thong. I feel like it's slightly wider than a thong and I like kids and stuff around and I felt really funny but everything's always in your head what you can wear. I feel like with what you wear, no one actually is you only think oh but everyone's staring at me, I don't think they always are. Huge thunder up the mountains, actually making my stomach go a bit. We came straight from um, the soft pack covered in this really nice, great moisturizer. It was super relaxing, actually. We just went to the hotel, changed our shoes, and headed here. Just to come for another gelato. That seems to be a favorite thing here, doesn't it? So far. Look at the size of Mason's mm. oh, Wow, that is delicious. Which one? It's like a um, tiramisu. I've got pistachio and coffee, and I've ordered a coffee. And we just went on this alpine bobsleigh. bobsleigh. <laughs> to do your own breaks. Just done my hair and makeup. I used the Dyson Air app to do, just to sort of re-go over my hair. I actually used the brush side, which I felt like I found a bit easier. I think because I'm used to doing my blow dries with probably a brush, that might make more sense. But I quite like how my fringes turned out because with the other plasticky air wrap thing, I was struggling a little bit. I think I just need to get the hang of it. Just had the loveliest day. I actually decided to get ready a little bit early. We we're gonna go for dinner about eight and we got back to the room at half six. Really nice just taking my time, not being in a rush for once, doing my makeup. And yeah, I did a bit of a different lip combo. I find it really hard with certain lip liners like to get the desired look. I like a bold line and then just like a glossy kind of lip. But for some reason, if the pencil is not really sharp, it just doesn't really work out. But yeah, I'm just gonna try and pick out a birthday dinner outfit. I've got like a showstopper outfit if you know what I mean but this is what we're working with so I've got this purple number I think I'm gonna have to try them, them on to decide I'm not gonna wear black I've got this green number which is like a little cohort like silky thing here is very like fancy conservative 
kind of vibe. I've also got this really nice short green dress. I think it's going to be one of these two because these are both really similar shape, cord, just different colour. I think the green is cool in my nail. I feel like that goes a bit better. Let's try them on. Will you do this just had the dreamiest morning. I just sat out by the pool and I did a little workout this morning. I did a 25 minute EMOM. So if you don't know what that is, that's just every minute on the minute. So a set number of reps, so like 15 burpees for one minute. And then whatever time I have left, I rest, which is usually about 15, 20 seconds. But it was just a really nice quick workout. These are some of my favorite full body workouts for when you're on holiday and you just want something quick. But I just had the nicest birthday yesterday and just feeling so full of gratitude. Mason is just the most thoughtful human ever. I just sat here now just thinking it's crazy what you can manifest. I feel like I really manifested Mason into my life like five and a bit years, nearly six, well yeah, five years, but nearly six years ago. I've just downloaded a new book on my Kindle to read which is called Signs. I had a look on TikTok, like I always like, I type in life-changing books and whatever comes up first is the book that I'll read. And today it was Signs, which is about like spiritual signs, which I'm so into. Like the other day actually when I was at home, I went on a run and I saw three robins that like landed in front of my path. And I actually think like my dad, for example, I think one of his sort of like spiritual guides, not that he would ever, ever call it that or even probably know that that is, is Robins. I just feel like it's kind of like your spirit guides or people who've passed that come and just give you a little sign, like a little nudge. Or I think it's really nice to think of it like that. And I genuinely believe in that and synchronicities at certain times, like, you know, when stuff is just too much of a coincidence and you're just like, how has that possibly happened? Or like, it's always when there are moments where you're really needing just a little bit of a sign that things come along. Like that day, I was really deep in my thoughts when I went on that road and then just seeing a little robin just gave me some reassurance and confidence that you're not always alone in these moments so yeah reading a book on that is going to be very enjoyable i think i'll let you know how it goes but yeah mason's chilling i think in the room i am sunbathing i've got some spf i've got spf 20 on I feel like I've actually got a good tan going on. I try not to put my face in the sun as much anymore. We went for breakfast buffet this morning. This hotel has got so much good selection of healthy foods. Like I had this chia pudding with a mango on top and it wasn't just pumped with added sugar. You could tell it was just really fresh. Like I feel like I'm whispering a bit because I do feel like I'm in someone's house. Like it's a really small, intimate, boutique kind of hotel villa. <laughs> By the pool we just went for some lunch and mason's come down give us a wave mace <laughs> Hello. he's pulled a very funny stunt on his instagram story so he put up a video of me like laying back on the bed in the thermal spa place where we went yesterday and then put like a click the link thing so it looks like it's like a flipping only fans thing we're gonna go for a massage at four o'clock i've just been looking through the menu of massages it is a full book thick 
full of treatments and here because it's like a retreat place so people will come here it's like a weight loss kind of retreat and they have loads of surgeons here doctors so you can get lots of different types of treatment but i'm thinking to have like an hour manual lymphatic drainage which is a specific massage technique targeted to the areas of the body with an excess reduction of lymphatic circulation and stagnation of liquids so i had one of these when i had surgery about two years ago and i was amazed at how much like you know if you ever got swelling in a certain area and it just feels like you can't quite seem to get rid of it this lymphatic drainage massage is really good and you can actually do it on yourself like if you have got areas like if you feel like you blow or like you have excess retention in a certain area of your body you can just youtube it and there's a technique you can do it for a few minutes coming to you from the B-Day, B-Day chats. We're gonna go for like an early dinner because we're actually leaving this place early tomorrow morning. So we've been here three nights and actually staying like in the mountains has been a little bit different because I feel like, you know, generally when you go on holiday, you usually go by the beach, but a sunny holiday in the mountains has just been a totally different experience. Just being into this red light chamber, I'm gonna call it, kind of just feels like a hot light on your back. And I was just reading up on some of the benefits. There's not masses of studies. That's the only trouble with red light therapy at the moment, but I feel like there'll be more and more because it's getting increasingly popular but it's supposed to be really good for your skin health and you might have seen those you know those machines people wear for their face for red light therapy like for acne and stuff i might actually try one of them at home i think we're going to walk into the town bit i am so many different shades right now my neck is so pale i feel like you know when you like, i don't really put my face in the sun or my your neck doesn't really get much sun does it anyway like you'd have to <laughs> have to lay really awkwardly to get your neck in the sun but I'm enjoying having a bit of a natural tan rather than having to fake tan all the time. This holiday has definitely been one of those trips where before we went away I was thinking oh god like I've just got so much on and I was thinking you know when you're just like oh god I really don't need a holiday right now but usually they're exactly the moments when you do need a flipping holiday and I can't tell you how refreshed I feel already. We leave here tomorrow morning and Mason has booked I didn't even know we were flying I thought we were driving somewhere else but we're, we're apparently flying to Sicily which I believe is by the beach. Obviously, you're coming with me there. I love this particular hour, you know, when you get back when you're on holiday, like, and you start getting ready for dinner, and you have a few snacks. We've got that Tony's Chocoloni that Mason got me for my birthday yesterday, so I'm gonna have a square of that. I was thinking today whilst I was by the pool, like, I was envisioning, I was like, could I get married at this hotel or, like, somewhere in this area? And I flipping love Italy. I always kind of had a, an idea about Italy, like, I'd seen little clips and videos of weddings here, and I just thought it looked gorgeous. And I feel like I've got this vision in my head, but I wanted to come and see Italy for myself. And I feel like with a wedding venue, I want to go and actually stay there before and really make sure that it is somewhere that I'd want to get married. And I've just been thinking a lot lately how like, I don't want to get married and just invite people who, you know, just like really old, old friends or even family to an extent that you've not seen in years or like, but they're not really like your real friends. Like I don't see the point in that. Unless you've got, you know, like real deep core memories with a certain person, I just don't see the point. I'd much rather have like real people there. Like my engagement party was so nice all those people were genuine and it was just such a nice group and energy of people so it's just had me really thinking about like when I was younger I don't know about you I used to always think I'd want this massive wedding and just invite like everyone and anyone and I feel like as I've got older it's just funny how we change isn't it just very interested in, like I used to never understand why people would just go and elope I'd be like what I could never do that whereas now I'm like I actually don't think I would elope but I can really understand why where I'm sat like my bum is actually hurting right now so when I got out of the pool I had some like moisturizer on my leg and I, I kind of slipped a bit and then obviously because there were people around I tried to just like pretend it didn't happen but what is it about getting in and out of a pool like I don't mind walking around a pool but getting in and out of a pool just feels like the awkwardest thing ever or is it me that's just like Mr Bean over here they were right next to you Ooh. oh this hotel room I can't I don't think I've actually shown you around so this is the suite that Luciano Pavarotti you know the the Italian like da, 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 da. it's definitely not like that but that song he used to create some of his music in this particular also I think it's been renovated since he passed away I think in 2007 but he used to come and stay here and also the suite above is it the mother or sister of Fendi he used to stay in the suite above you know someone someone just has like a lovely energy like this whole place just feels really nice 
right, I'm just gonna, I don't know if it's even worth trying to save this hair or just to do like a hair up. I'm gonna try to do a little bit of something using the Dyson Air Wrap, which, oh my God, this is like my baby now. Like, I don't know how I've lived with without this. I felt really reluctant to buy the Dyson Air Wrap. And I don't know why. So worth it if it's something that you use every day. Like I was using my hairbrush and just a normal hairbrush, as you'll have probably seen. And it just took so much time. And I just love that you can put so many different settings. Like you don't have to have it boiling hot if you're trying to look after your hair health kind of thing. Use a little bit of heat protect spray. It definitely needs a wash, but I am not mentally prepared to do it right now. Right, I don't think that did much, but it will do. And I'll just quickly show you around this room, more so that I can look back on this video because it's been such a beautiful 25th birthday. So you've seen the bathroom that I was locked in yesterday morning. Here is the little bathroom with a gorgeous shower. Just tried out this really nice body lotion, which smells a bit, it's kind of lemony. And then a nice big mirror, all our stuff, unpacked everything, all our clothes. And then this is this guy that I just, I think I absolutely killed how I said his name. But I, you'll probably recognise his face. And then some little lovely things on here. Lady Diana as well. Oh, that's my at Medina. Oh, that's lovely. And then we made our own door. Well, masted. The comfiest bed in all existence. And I, I think this is the biggest bed I've ever slept in. And just really random. But if you like me and appreciate a good pillow, this one is like a normal feather kind of pillow. And then this is a memory foam. I kind of need a very thin flat pillow and this has just been a dream and this is the view that you've already seen that's the pool where we were at and then this just like all curves around looks like they're setting up for dinner over there and then these are my birthday flowers like i want to take these with me and my birthday card just picked out an outfit i'm thinking of going with this black coat it's kind of like a long sleeve mesh because we're going somewhere else for two nights apparently it's really lovely I haven't actually seen where we're going yet which is exciting i want to say you know like your good outfits for the last few nights when you're a little bit more tan i feel like i've caught some though today so i'll try this black and see what this is like okay so this is the black one i really like this but i feel like it's a little bit more like conservative and it's giving cleavage and just a little bit i don't know like i feel like this might be a bit more fitting i did get this like as a day dress I can't decide. I think the back, the, the skirt, this is a little bit see-through. The boutte. I've changed. I've gone with the more casual dress. This is actually super comfy. I've put sandals up to save my feet tonight. I need to go forward a bit. So it's Sunday, it's the next day, and we left Marino this morning. We woke up at six and we've kind of had a travel day. So we had a two and a bit hour drive back to Venice Airport. And then when we checked in, got there in good time and everything. And I'd seen that we were flying with Wizz Air, which I don't know where the brand is actually from. All I've heard of it from is my TikTok. Like I feel like for some reason, I keep getting seen these horror stories of like really crazy stuff happening on TikTok. And that is the only association I had. So when we were in the checking queue, I said to Mason, I was like, I'm sure I've seen this airline like all over TikTok people saying to avoid so i was just I, as soon as i came out of that i was like i shouldn't have said that i don't want to manifest that more so we got to the checking desk and she was the loveliest lady but she was like oh really sorry but um there's no more seats available on this flight and we're like how's that possible because we've checked in as in we've checked in online and everything and she said oh it's just like overbooked and she said oh what you're best doing is just i'll put your suitcase through but um we'll have to wait until you get to the gate to see if you can get on and then she said oh the next flight will be tomorrow but we're only supposed to stay in here for two nights I'm like, oh it's gonna just delay everything so we're just like oh we'll just have to chance it and Mason and I were just saying let's just be really positive we'll get on this flight and then we just went to the gate and the same lady who was at the front desk was there and she managed to get us on thank god and then um when we got on the flight we we're both just so sweaty and just as we sat there like all this I'm not quite like steam was coming out of the top and I've never in my whole life of catching any flights I've never seen steam or like spray or vapor come out from the ceiling before we even left and I thought oh god what is this and then over the tunnel the woman was just saying oh this is I think she had condensation or something but it seems to be just cooling the aircraft down but I think that's what I'd seen on TikTok as well just made me laugh so we were just sat there the flight was absolutely fine and then halfway through you know when you have one of those moments so I was like reading my Kindle and I was dozing off and then I just put my head like fully back and my mouth was so open and you know in what should I call it the guy was coming around with some snacks and he woke me up and I jumped out of skin and I was so embarrassed I was like dribbling down myself I looked aside and Mason was also asleep with his mouth wide open 
It was just one of those funny moments. But yeah, then we arrived in to Sicily, which is where we are now. And then we just picked up another hire car. It was only 40 euros for two days of car hire, which is insane, isn't it? That's way cheaper than taxis when you think about it. And then we just drove 40 minutes to this hotel. And I thought I'll show you around here. It's so gorgeous. And I feel like I'm on an island. Like it's giving the Caribbean island vibes here. Like the climate is totally different, it seems. And yeah, this is in Southern Italy. And apparently it's quite different like northern and southern there's a bit of a well complete divide or just difference i believe so this is our room number 23 i think, I think the door's locked actually mace all right oh thank you so you come through here a little seating area and there was a really nice bottle of brew and a little handwritten note tv and a coffee station over there da -da 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 -da. Nice big bed. This looks like my Mason's Dubai bed. I don't know if you recognise it. I feel like it's a really similar shape, like a cloud bed. I haven't actually tested this out yet, so... Right, this is the moment of truth. Have you tried the bed, Mace? It's actually quite a soft bed. Yeah, it's lovely and big. It's really nice and cool in here as well. Right, I guess my approval. I'll have to see what the pillow is saying. And then out here is a little terrace. So they very kindly upgraded our room. And I thought this was actually a pool, but this is a jacuzzi. Yeah, we're just deciding. I can't still go to the gym or not. <sighs> It is a Sunday, I might have a rest day or I feel like just doing something like a bit of Pilates, something just slow. I feel like I need to move though because I've been sat down most of the day. But yeah, there's um, this jacuzzi pool which looks really appealing and then it overlooks this vineyard, I was going to call it a wine yard, this vineyard and this hotel is called Donna Carmelo and they've got these like lodges and resorts. So pretty. This is really reminding me of where Mason and I got engaged actually. If you watch that vlog you'll, you'll know what I mean, let me show you. So that is a little vineyard and then obviously in the south so you've got the sea there's so many gorgeous beaches in sicily and i kind of go to tiktok i feel like for everything now. i've seen what there is to do there's loads of nice restaurants we've got two nights here and i said to mason i feel like we need to extend we have got a lot on though next week but there's also mount etna which is a live volcano when we just drove from the airport you could see there was stuff coming off it like that erupted back in may 2023 but maybe i don't know if we're gonna have time but it would be nice to kind of go check that out i'm gonna do a quick 20 minute pilates workout just to get a little bit of movement in and a bit of a stretch as well we did this together the other day and it was actually quite enjoyable wasn't it doing pilates it's totally different like i feel like it just kills your core on another level starting in a seated position palms facing the ceiling and we're just going to take a moment now just to ground ourselves Shorts. You know me. On the shoes? What are the shoes? We've got some Laura Pianas. You can't see them. We've got a horseshoe here. Well, this, this shoe. And then I've got this lemon co on from... I think this is Mermaids. I've had this two years. I've just gone with sandals. It's a Sunday, so I just thought... Just and we're off to get this. I actually think this place got awarded a Michelin star, so... This will probably be... Um, I feel like the food's going to be good here. I was just saying, I feel like I've got leaner on this trip. The food's been so healthy at that other place we're staying. And so tasty as well. So I'm going to go and check this restaurant out. I'm really excited. We've not really seen the restaurant or the yeah, other area. We've not had a mooch round. So that's what we're going to go and do. My best friend's trying to FaceTime me, actually. Um, so maybe we'll FaceTime them at dinner. They're also at dinner. This might be slightly better lighting. Da -na -na. It's the comfiest thing. This is my favourite fabric to wear on my skin. It just was like pyjamas. And the back. You can also tie this top like different ways, which I really quite like. I think there's like a live singer on or something. I can hear something in the background. This is the time the climax oh. song.
Good morning, it's Monday and we are just working up, made ourselves a coffee. It's actually a really different coffee machine. I've not seen the Mocha. brand before. Mocha brand? Mocha. And they had loads of different capsules. Mason had a really sweet one. Mm. I think it had like milk in the capsule maybe as well, but it was delish. I've just gone for a strong black coffee. It came out like chocolate. We were just talking about our dinner last night, which was so delicious. So here is like a, it's more like gourmet food. More kind of courses, but much smaller portions, which we're so not used to. I feel like at home we'll just load up our plates. And in our last hotel, we had some bread with some olive oil. And the woman came over and was like, oh, like smell the olive oil. So we did, and it was so 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 nice we were mm. dipping our bread in olive oil thinking that's what you do anyway in italy that's what you do in most places especially yeah. in the uk it's um, like balsamic vinegar a bit of olive oil but then i had a conversation with um the lady that was well no you've missed the whole missed that bit about so this lady who was sat on the table next to us um, at you, yeah she was like I, I felt like she was really staring at you but then i was just thinking maybe it's just like the culture's different here but she was really just watching my every move and then I thought oh maybe it's because I was I took a picture of something and um, so I just thought oh I'm maybe overthinking it and then um, what I remember when we were eating this bread with like salt she was like looking over and then shaking her head and um, I just thought oh maybe she's just in her own world mm. and then you saw her in the sauna the next day yeah and so, and um, well actually it was outside the sauna I got into a conversation she's like where are you from, from here, blah, blah, and then she had quite uh, socialist views and then we got on the conversation of philosophy and what I was reading, I was reading a book about stoicism and she was telling me all the things I should read and then I was like, oh well that's interesting, I've learned a lot, I'll, I'll go and look, look up that um, particular author and then she was like, let me teach you one more thing and then she got in real close and was like, when you're in an Italian restaurant never dip your bread into oil it's not be something we do and i was like that was from last night i was like oh, okay and then she's like um why why don't you do that it's 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 like um a lot of restaurants especially in the uk they offer you, you know, mm. bread and olive oil I was like, and it was just like it's only a thing italian restaurants do to cater to foreigners she said like germans uh, americans and people from like uk and she's like, it's just not something we do. Don't do it. I do it at home, but I never ever do it in a restaurant. It's just. Mm. But and I then they have so started asking, like, there's so many different like traditions and etiquettes around. Yeah. The like the dining table in Italy. Yeah, it's just different cultures, isn't it? Scoffing at us. Yeah. Uh, when we was doing it, I was thinking maybe she's. Just different, yeah, yeah. Really, really quite different. But I would never, I would never say that. And then last night at dinner, the lady offered mm. us olive oil again. So I was like, oh, do Italians actually have this olive oil? Because I'm getting confused now. Because I, 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 I don't, don't understand. Yeah, I, Maybe it's in certain parts of Italy, like that was northern, mm. this is southern. So I just asked her, I was like, oh, do Italians have uh, olive oil with bread? Because I was, I felt silly then. I was thinking, oh god, have I just been dipping my bread into this olive oil? And it's like a rude thing to do. And then she didn't, she didn't fully understand uh. did she what I meant. But then we didn't have olive oil with the bread, and we were both like, oh, it'd be much better with the flipping olive oil. <laughs> the sun's really nice, isn't it? Hopefully we're going to go to the beach today. I feel like we need to extend another night here, you know, because we got here so late last night and I kind of want a full-blown chill day reading our books. Yeah, we need to make a move. I think we want to do a 25-minute e-mom type of workout again. Just love these on holiday. And then we've got the yoga class, which we're doing outside. I think that's going to be in front of basically people having breakfast. breakfast. So that should be good. Oh, this view is so nice. Slept like an absolute baby. We slept yeah, so yeah, well, so haven't yeah. we? Just hotel beds, oh, the comfiest things, especially when they're nice and big with a good pillow. I don't think I woke up once, which is nice, but yeah, right, let's make a move. Right, we're doing 25 minute EMOM, doing squats into down ups.
Oh my gosh, I'm dripping and my arm is shaking. Just did a 25 minute EMOM, so these are such a good workout. Like if you're not really feeling like training when you're away or you're busy, set yourself a timer and as soon as you kick start, you'll just get into it and get going. Like the first few minutes can be a bit like, oh, and then 25 minutes goes so quick and think you can just spend easily 25 minutes in the morning sat on your phone in bed when you can just get a quick workout in. I didn't need to get so sweaty. I'm gonna go straight to this yoga class. I really fancy like a deep stretch. I don't know how I'm so sweaty because the aircon's blasting in here. I think I'm due on actually and I always notice I sweat more when I'm due on my period. Yeah, we need some water. Right, let's go to this yoga class. yoga that was like an hour long oh my god i felt like i was floating i feel so relaxed whenever i do yoga i always think why don't i do this enough like i really need to start prioritizing it and we've just come for breakfast now i've got eggs salmon on some toast and we have some like fruit and some little pastries a pistachio like italian things delish but yeah i need to go shower after this I'm just kind of lovely lovely morning how many eggs miss we have four poached eggs and lots of hollandaise sauce. I always try and ask for the sauce on the side. I just prefer it a little bit more left it. I've got a cappuccino. Hello again. Since we last spoke, I managed to flash the farmer for a solid five minutes. Like he was in direct view, but I was too busy looking at the vineyard on the right to even notice. But I feel like, you know, when you get a shower on holiday and if you're British, you've got to make the most of every minute of sunshine so I was drying myself outside and then I was just stood there admiring the view like a strange person but I'm, I imagine he probably is used to it because his uh, farm is directly opposite the hotel but yeah I've just been putting on my bikini I've gone with the same bikini that I've now realised I want to get in every single colour they do it's only from Pretty Little Thing I wore the pink one on my birthday and it's just a really nice fit it's got like a bit of a sheen to it and the bikini bottoms are like a I wouldn't say a thong but it's like a cheeky and a thong so I just feel like it's a flattering fit you need it in your life I feel like you've got any holidays coming up but yeah just chilling by the pool and I was also just noticing in my body how much better I feel so recently I've been making a real conscious effort to I wouldn't say get rid I don't feel like you should get rid of anything but really limit how much artificial flavorings and sweeteners that I'm having in my drinks mainly because that's where I feel like I was having a lot like I was probably having a coke zero a day and i just noticed it just didn't really agree with my body like i'd always get this kind of blow and i'd seen some recent studies that had come out about the possibility of being linked like to well as being a carcinogenic and there's more stuff that's coming out in the next few weeks that i'd been reading and i just thought actually in my own body i don't feel like it does agree with me necessarily i mean i'm not going to say i'm never going to have one again but i just feel like i don't need to have one every single day and i think there's so many alternatives that you can have so i've been having elderflower cordial slash syrup with sparkling Water, which is actually so nice and I actually love kombucha so I've just been changing it and that's the kind of approach I like to take when whenever I change anything in my diet like that's why I don't think you should just cut something out I think it's always about like what swap or replacement could you make because it's unrealistic to cut something out that you have every single day and not replace it with something and then you just feel like you're lacking something you really enjoyed so it'd be unrealistic to completely cut out all sweeteners but I just think looking at it for more of a, like oh where where is there an area where I feel like I'm just having stuff for this like for the sake and it's not really offering me anything and with your gut and brain have been so directly linked like our gut health and brain and how we feel is 
to very very close-knit things so if you think about it if you're upsetting your gut balance all the time and how you're digesting stuff it's going to be harder to get healthy nutrients from more whole foods if you're like constantly keeping that upset if that makes sense anyway that's just like a little simplified version i want to do a full video on this because it's actually so interesting and i feel quite passionate about it like since i've looked into it more because it's just one of those things that we don't hear about that much or it doesn't get mentioned just been chilling by the pool and I've just got changed. I'm wearing this little skirt. This is from Pretty Little Thing. Absolutely love this. I did the quickest order you've ever done from Pretty Little Thing before I came away and it's actually worked out really well. This top is just a little, like little white crop kind of thing. And then flip flops. And we're gonna head to this little beachy town. I've just written in my notes some stuff that I found to do. It's called Lungo Mar Beachfront. It's 33 minutes drive from here. And then apparently there's loads of really cool ceramic shops. Would be really nice to get some stuff for our house and then there's a square called Domomo Square and just some other cute little spots just see where the day takes us we need to figure out where we parked the car as well yesterday because they took it somewhere else I think but yeah that is the plan of action it's just been a really nice chilled morning just been by the little pool in here I haven't actually left this room since this morning it's been really nice just reading my book very very hot like the lady we met in the hotel yesterday was saying Sicily is much hotter I think with it being it's like really feels like island kind of Vibe. You ready, Mace? I'm ready to rock and roll. Packed a little bag. I'm wearing flip flops. I don't know how much walking we're going to be doing, but we'll just go with it. So we've driven to Tea Marina, which is recommended by the lovely lady at the hotel desk. She said this is a bit similar to like Capri of this kind of area. So just having a little walk around. It is, I think, 40 degrees. And it's actually quite quiet, and that is probably why. But it's nice and shaded, and we're just walking down the street. I think we're going to go for some lunch or something. Maybe grab a gelato en route. Grab a gelato. A bit warm, mate. <laughs> My belly <laughs> had that lunch do you know what it was okay but a bit average and we're just about to walk past this chocolate shop this looks really cool <laughs> oh my gosh there you go have a taste so we have salted caramel hazelnuts pistache and limoncello liquor oh limoncello there you go Mmm, look at lemon chili. This one is a traditional sauce with pistachio and truffle. Mm -hmm. And uh, there is the salt truffle sauce. Yes, this one is salt truffle with the pistachio. Mm. And this one is uh, the traditional festa of pistachio and mm -hmm. tomato. Because the pistachio is uh, from Bronte, it's a little city uh, from uh, Catania. And so I feel like you can actually never buy it. You know like when you go to a restaurant they always have truffle salt. And I've never really been able to see it in shops. So I feel like it's needed. So this is, did you say 23 euros? It's the next day, it's Tuesday, and we've come back to Teo Mina. We've actually come to this hotel called Una, where we're going for a massage. We were supposed to fly back this morning, but there was actually a fire in the airport yesterday. I don't think anyone was hurt, or it wasn't like a major one, but they closed the airport. So, you know, I was saying how we did, I didn't know where to change our flight. It just made sense to change our flight to tomorrow, so booked that. And then, yeah, we're just going for a quick, not quick, massage. Ourselves, a submarine. That is a submarine. Can you see that down there? I'm really surprised this isn't rammed. If you ever come to Teo Mina, this is the Una Hotel. Maybe it gets busy later or something, but it's literally all to ourselves. We're just gonna watch the sun go down. We just went for a massage here. That was so needed, like a deep tissue, just lovely massage. And then I think we're gonna get a gelato or something and maybe find somewhere for dinner. So it's our last night in Taormina in Sicily, and we're just heading to a little Italian restaurant. I found like an authentic kind of looking place. I feel like TikTok is just my go-to for any recommendations. For some reason, I just have so much trust in it. I don't feel like it's let me down. I feel like it always has just the coolest or little quirky spots that you wouldn't think of on there. So we're just driving there now. Mason's doing really well at driving these roads. They're literal. Tiny. They're so windy, like aren't they? Lane on a winding road going up a hill. And you just kind of do like a U-turn really suddenly. I'll show you what I mean. So if you can see on here, it's 
just like this because I'm just going up and down the mountains. I feel like today might have been one of my, I don't want to say favourite days because we've had so many good days, but it's been a really nice day, hasn't it? Lovely day. We've um, just chilled, been for a massage and eating lots of lovely food. I think we're gonna go for some pasta or something, maybe pizza at this place. And we've just seen like, it looks like it was an old, like the old town of Taormina, like just at the back, which has been really nice to see actually now. I feel like we've really explored places, but I do think it's actually massive. Like Sicily is much bigger than I thought. I definitely recommend a good like week here just going to all the different parts because they're quite different. It's just been so, so nice. Okay, we missed the parking bit. We're just driving down these tiny roads. I feel like my heart is beating from my chest right now. They're really tight. Oh my god, it's really cute up here actually. It really feels like authentic old style Italy. <laughs> Apparently Sicily's really famous for this one. It's really cute. So we're in this little local, local, local restaurant. We've waited ages, but I think it's so worth it. We've gone for like a raw fish tea and then ordered pasta. Very excited. Yeah. 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 Yeah.